I'm going to show you how to make these gorgeous, super easy dresses for your dolls. These dresses are from Rapunzel's fashion show. If you want to see that video, click on the i card in this corner or in the video description below. Here are some of the things you'll need. Stretchy tube hairbands. I got them at the dollar store. They come in lots of colors and patterns. Sharp scissors. Cellophane tape. You'll need a few rainbow loom C-clips. This is a pack of assorted colors. You'll need tiny elastic bands. These are clear and made for hair. You can also use the rainbow loom elastics. This is a rhinestone mesh. You can also find this as trim in a roll. And some lace, like these and white satin ribbon. The first dress, the black dress, is the easiest dress to make. I'm going to show you how to make it with a yellow hairband because it's easier to see. This hairband was cut at the seam, so now it's one long tube. I need to measure where I'm going to fold, so I need Rapunzel for this. Measure from her armpit to her waist, right there. I'll hold on to that spot. Now, I'm going to fold the top over at that spot, like this. See? This makes a nice finished edge at the top. Here is Rapunzel and her black dress. The top is already folded over. Let's get her in her dress. And here are her toes. You need an inch or more past her toes so you can fold the dress hem under for a finished edge. This is where I would cut if I was making her a yellow dress. So now I'm going to fold the bottom of her dress to the length I want. There are so many dress lengths you can get from just one dress. I show you how in another video. Click on the i card in this corner to see that video. Now to make the belt. You need two rows of rhinestones. Cut along the mesh. If you get the rhinestone trim, you don't have to cut it because it already comes in two rows. Here it is. I need to cut it so it'll fit around Rapunzel's waist. Wrap it around the waist so you'll know where to cut it. Right there. I'll keep my finger there to mark the spot. And cut. I'll check to make sure it fits. And it does. There's going to be a C-clip there so I need to make room for it. I'm going to cut off two rows. This is the belt and the C-clip that I'm going to show you how to make. This one has clear elastics and a black C-clip, but I'm going to show you with a brighter colored elastic and clip so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to use red elastics and a green C-clip. I want to put the elastic through the hole in the mesh. Count two holes in from the end. One, two, that's the hole. If you pinch the elastic like this, It'll be easier to get it through. There, I did it. Pull it through halfway. Now take the C-clip, and I want to hook both ends into the C-clip. Put the ends of the elastics together. Get your finger in there. Two fingers work better, and the C-clip goes on really easy. There, the C-clip is in place. So now one end of the belt is done. I'm going to do the same for the other end. Pinch the elastic, push, and pull it halfway through. Put the two ends of the elastic together like this. Get two fingers in like this. Take your C-clip and clip it on. And this is what you end up with. The C-clip and the elastic makes it easy to get the belt on and off. You'll want to make it with clear elastics and a clear C-clip. I didn't have a clear C-clip, so I used black to match her dress. Let's get the belt on Rapunzel. It stretches really well because of the elastics. The belt is really important for this dress because it does a few jobs. The belt will cover the edge of the fold at her waist. It cinches the waist so the dress looks better and it keeps the dress in place so it doesn't shift up or down. Here it is. It looks great. And here's a look at the back. 
push any loose fabric to the back. The belt will hold it in place. To make that dip at the front of the dress, just give it a poke, like that. For Rapunzel's bracelet and necklace, I used clear beads and elastic string. Let's get it on her. The elastic makes it easy. It stretches right over her head. And there. Easy peasy. She looks great. This next dress is super easy too. I'll use a yellow hairband so you can see the marks I make. Use your thumb to measure where to mark. It's about one inch down from the top edge. Put one dot at the edge, like this. Now I'm going to make another dot exactly the same on the other side. It'll look like this. Now I'm going to make a tiny, tiny snip where the dots are for Rapunzel's arm to go through. Just a tiny, tiny snip. Then the other side. You might think, that's a tiny hole. I don't think Rapunzel's arm will fit through. But look, the fabric stretches and the hole gets bigger. See? You don't want a hole bigger than this. See? Big enough. Now I'm going to fold the top to the hole I just made. And I'm going to fold it again, like this. Smooth out the folds. You can see the holes right there. Don't use a dark colored marker because you will see it on the dress. Here is the pink dress that I made exactly like I showed you with the yellow hairband. Let's get it on Rapunzel. Pull it up to her waist and get her hands in the holes. If the dress is pulled higher than the waist, it's hard to get her hands through the holes. Pull the dress right up. There. Fold the bottom edge up. And here she is looking so pretty in pink. The next dress is made exactly like the pink dress. The difference between this dress and the pink dress is the belt. To make the belt, you need lace. You'll want it to wrap around the waist and hang down. You'll need the extra length. Cut. Take a C-clip and an elastic. Put the elastic through the C-clip. So it's like this. I'm going to wrap the elastic around the middle where the lace crisscrosses and bring it up and hook it into the C-clip. It'll look like this. A clear elastic and a white C-clip would be better. Now I'm going to take the ends of the lace and pull. Pull until it's tight. To make a thinner belt, just tuck in the edge a little. Like this. Doesn't this look awesome? Now for the leopard dress. I'm going to use the marks I made on the yellow hairband when I was making the pink dress. I'm going to make two new marks. One pinky finger width down on one side and one pinky finger width up on the other side. Now draw a diagonal line from the top mark on one side to the lower mark on the other side like this, and cut along the line. And there's that tiny hole I made earlier. Here's the leopard dress. This hairband is different. It has a seam. I made the hole beside the seam. If I made the hole in the seam, the stitching might come apart. Let's get it on Rapunzel. Tuck in the edge. Looks great. And tuck in the bottom edge. This leopard print dress is the number one favorite dress in our polls so far. There, she looks awesome. For the bridesmaid's dress, you start with some lace. Wrap it around the doll's chest. To hold it there, I'm going to use clear tape. One piece of tape to hold the lace together and another piece of tape to hold the lace to the doll. You don't want the lace to move. 
Take the hairband and measure from the edge of the lace in the back to the edge of the lace in the front and mark it. Now, make a mark exactly on the other side, like this. Fold the hairband in half and mark the center and mark the top, like this. The dots will look like this. Now cut down the side to the dot and the other side. Now down the middle to the dot. Take each end and pull. It will stretch out thin and curl in. Now you have four straps. Put Rapunzel in. Pull it all the way up to her armpits. Put the front straps to the back. Turn over and crisscross the straps and tie them. Make the knots closer to her waist. It gets bulky with these knots. There's a way to fix it, but it will require sewing. If your doll's hair is long, it will cover up these knots anyways. Now the front. The sleeves need to be adjusted to look like capped sleeves, so the edge needs to be tucked under a little and pulled down. The center of the neckline is unraveling, but if this was white, it would just blend in with the lace. Also, the satin ribbon will cover most of it. Take the ribbon, measure from the back, bring it to the front and drape it along the neckline. Hold it down in the middle, then over the other shoulder and back down and cut. Take a little hair clip and clip the ribbon onto the dress. Now the front. To get the ribbon to stay put is really tricky. You can try glue or a little piece of tape. Let me show you what I did. Here is the white dress. I had to put one stitch in the middle to attach the ribbon to the dress. I also put one stitch on each shoulder. In the back, I cut the back two straps off and used this hair clip to keep it in place. It's a bit tricky to do. The teeth on the clip hook right into the fabric. I also put in two more stitches in the ribbon to hold it in place. If it hadn't been for the ribbon, this dress would have been a no-so easy-peasy dress to make. But I really wanted to make it a replica of the famous bridesmaid dress. Did you guess who that bridesmaid was? I'll give you another hint. Her name starts with a P. So now that you know how to make these dresses, which dress is your favorite? The black dress? The pink dress, the purple dress, the leopard print dress, or the white dress? Post your answer in the comment section below or take our poll. Just click on the i card in the top right hand corner. Thanks for watching! If you like this video, click like. It looks like this. Check out this video! In this tutorial, I show you how I did Rapunzel's hair for the fashion show. Doesn't she look fabulous? Don't forget to subscribe! Thank you!